All right, guys. Uh, welcome back. My name is Jonathan, a 2022 23 Chinese scholar studying cyber security at Cardiff University in the UK. Uh, so, I'm talking about how you can approach the networking essay. The networking essay is the second essay out of the four essays that you have to write to convince uh, the reading community that you are somebody that is versatile and can network with people to achieve a goal. So the essay prompt goes something around Chevin is looking for people who are able to network and provide examples of how you have been able to network to achieve a common goal or something like that. One thing that this essay aims to uh, bring out from you is number one, how you have been able to connect with people. Number two, how you have been able to sustain that relationship with people. Number three, how that relationship has brought about impact in people's life or other people's life, or how you have used that relationship to bring about a change or something. So that is what this networking essay is looking out for you. Number one, how you have been able to connect with people. Number two, how you have been able to sustain that relationship with whoever you connected with. Number three, how you have been able to sustain a relationship to bring about impact to people's uh, life. So, and you must note that uh, connecting with people must be mutually beneficial. It's not a parasitic relationship where you are only gaining from the person, the person is not gaining for you. It must be symbiotic where you are both gaining from each other. So, how do you approach this essay it's using these uh, three uh, key points I just listed? Uh, number one, Uh, number one, you want to do some introspection, definitely think about the time where you met somebody and meeting that person have been able to achieve something from meeting that person. It can be maybe, it might not be necessarily immediately you met that person, it might be after months that you met the person that you have been able to achieve something. Uh, in my own case, I had a couple of examples that I was supposed I had to use, or I had to use the strongest one. So, uh, you can list about, for example, you know, you can meet people anywhere. Maybe you attended industry events or in your church or social media or anywhere. You can meet people and, okay, you can say, oh, you met somebody on social media and you connected the person and some person sent you their number and all of that. You connected and, you know, every month you usually maybe send them uh, opinion or messages and all of that. Because, you know, meeting, I said, how have we been able to meet? How have you been able to sustain the relationship? So you can meet somebody anywhere, events, church, like I said. How have you been able to sustain the relationship? Sustain the relationship can, can be maybe helping the person to achieve tax or con if you have a skill that you have, the person has benefited from, or maybe you give the person advice, even as little as advice. Sometimes you might not really see what you have benefited the person or what the person has benefited from you. But it can be simple as maybe a conversation that you had, you can say, oh, just do it this way, just do it this way. That is also how the person benefited for you. You can also use that. So, you know, these things are simple, simple things. It just depends on how you talk about them, how you tell the story. It doesn't have to be something grandiose. Maybe you met the president or you met the minister of information and he did something and he told you did something. Can, you can meet somebody, I can meet uh, you now and say, oh, uh, we just started we're talking, we're connected on WhatsApp and we exchanged numbers, connected on WhatsApp. And maybe you, I saw something on your WhatsApp status that you, had, you wanted to do or something that you needed. Or maybe you needed information about getting house and something and I have a, an agent, that, an house agent. I can send the person's contact to you. That's how you have benefited from me. Maybe when I'm doing some, maybe at a later time when I want to do something, I can say, okay, because you have social so, so skills, maybe a graphic designer, uh, can you help us to design graphics? Even though I might pay you, it's how I've been able to benefit from you. Now, it's much rather. So you, you tell that story. You met somebody somewhere who is a graphic designer. Uh, the way I did my, uh, so I did, uh, one of my examples I used was, I met a career development uh, coach at a presentation I made. So we connected and we shared contacts and uh, we kept, kept in touch. So it was during our conversation after the presentation I made that I found out that he was a career development uh, coach who coaches people on interviews and uh, tips, you know, CV writings, cover letters and all of that. So it was during, uh, after we connected, I, I learned all of this. And it was, one time he 
uh, he also I shared with him that okay, I'm also vast in digital marketing and all of that. So he was like, oh, he wants to launch his book. He wants to be writing a book. He wants to launch on digital uh, on social media to get more sales. So because I am. I have a digital marketing skills. I was able to provide free digital marketing consultations for him on how we can position his book. And then you know, I have a platform of people where I usually share the uh, opportunities. I have an, an opportunities hub of people where I usually share. So when we were organizing Meetup, I invited this, uh, I invited him to come and talk, Mr. Paul, to come and uh, give a career development talk to members of this my platform. So that is like mutually beneficial. And this, this uh, also, this uh, Mr. Paul, he also helped me during my interview preparation process. And just from our, from, from where we met during my presentation, this is like maybe, I think a year, maybe, or maybe some months, but it might not be as long as that. But as long as you met somebody, you're able to sustain that relationship. Even though sometimes it might be happy new months, just send happy new months message, you just keep in touch. And okay, I do this, this is what I do. In case you need any of my services, I can be able to render your service. Or what do you do? Just talk about things that you do. And all of that. So now you have to be thinking about times that you have had those kind of experiences or similar with people, and how you can now tell those stories. So generally, like your leadership, I say you have like uh, have like maybe two to three examples. So your introduction, your first paragraph will be your introductory uh, introductory paragraph where you just state what networking means to you or how you have been able to network. In my own case, I just like because I'm quite reserved. So I don't really talk to people a lot when I go to events. So I was like, okay, uh, as someone as reserved, I've, I've been able to learn how to uh, approach people at events and also be able to meet with people. And uh, so that is how I've been able to build a very good uh, network, which I'll be explaining in the following paragraph. So in the first paragraph, in my first paragraph, I gave my first example using the star approach. Again, guys, the star approach. Always use the star approach for your leadership and networking essays. The star approach for each of your examples. So the star approach again, S is for situation, T is for tax, uh, A is for action, and the R is for result. So the situation was what you want to do or what, what it was before you acted on it. The tax is what you have to do. The action is what you did exactly. And the result is the outcome. So please watch it again uh, to really grasp the idea. So. You follow the, you just, it doesn't have to be really, I think one of my examples was just about four lines and it contains all this stuff. So it doesn't have to be very, very long thing that you have to write in one uh, full scrap sheet. So you just, I think one of my examples was just like four or five lines and it contains all this star approach. I think one I even added L, which is was uh, lessons learned. So it depends, you just make sure that you have this star approach. Now you now have to look at, you now have to be thinking about the, what you now have to do is think about the example. Write the example down. That okay, this example, this is what I want to use. Now, how will you break it down into this situation, uh, tax, action, and result? How will you break this example down? So you now have to take situation. What was the situation in this example that I want to give? What was I trying to do? You write it down. You, the tax, what you have to do. The action, what you did exactly, and the result. What was the result of? Or what was the outcome of what you did? And then the last paragraph would have your conclusion where you just also relate it back to the Chevening, uh, to the Chevening scholarship, how the Chevening scholarship will help you to network and meet with global leaders who are doing well in different fields. From in my case, I said, I think I said something around the lines of Chevening scholarship will give me the opportunity to meet with global leaders, uh, especially uh, who are doing well in different fields, to be able to learn from diverse cultures and diverse things and be able to integrate and also see how I can contribute to the network. Uh, in fact, I, I think I said in my uh, last paragraph that I hope to uh, present a paper at the Chevening Summit, which happens in London, because that shows that I've done my research, because there's usually Chevening Summit every year for uh, selected Chevening scholars. So it shows that I've done my research, I know that there's Chevening Summit, and I know that uh, scholars have allowed the opportunity to present papers. So I told them that I will be presenting a paper on uh, data privacy because I'm studying cyber security and data privacy at the Chevening Summit in London and utilize the opportunity, the networking opportunities it will provide. So that's what, that's just your last paragraph. Maybe two, three lines. That's all. Just close. It just has to be something good, uh, something really good and straight to the point. But it must be related to the Chevening Scholarship or how the Chevening, how the Chevening Scholarship will help you 
to meet with people, to meet with leaders, to meet with other people in diverse, doing diverse things under the Germany umbrella. So that is how you should uh, approach the networking uh, essays. I believe if you follow this framework, follow this uh, path, you should be able to come up or flesh out your ideas of in your networking essay. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.